from Tran Maze. Uh, welcome to this unboxing video of the Balaka uh, figure from uh, Black Lagoon by Medical Sense Entertainment. It was released in January 2024. Um, has been a while. Um, I did receive it back in March. Uh, I've only got around to unboxing it now because I'm lazy, unfortunately, I suppose. Um, and just didn't have a reason to do this, but I'm trying to obviously get around to speeding up and doing more content for you guys. So uh, if you can comment, like, and subscribe if you uh, enjoy. Uh, at least unboxing videos. I think I've seen that unboxing videos are generally quite well received overall um, in the community. So uh, as collectors, everyone likes to see unboxing figures uh, videos. So, uh, and I think this is one that a lot of people uh, will enjoy liking anyway, since she's a fan favorite, especially from uh, Black Lagoon. Uh, obviously we've got Revy by Medicus Entertainment who was released a few years ago. And there was a re-release of her figure as well that will be getting in December. Um, I have got that pre-ordered. Um, I won't be seeing that till probably February. Um, so expect me to do a review of that one and have her side by side with uh, Blacker as well. And then we've also got um, Roberta as well, the maid, um, or assassin maid I guess you could say, uh, as well, uh, which has been up for uh, announcement, it hasn't been up for pre-order yet. So when that gets pre-ordered, I'll be pre-ordering that immediately. Um, I can't remember who that is, I'll put it up here on the screen somewhere if I remember of the of a photo of her and um, who's uh, the manufacturer is. Um, hopefully it's Medicus Entertainment because then they all seem to fit in with each other. Um, but we'll get on into the unboxing of the uh, of Black Owl. We'll do uh, obviously our box review first. Well I can just do it here I suppose rather than doing uh, anything else. So you've got clear front panel, a uh, bit of a side with the Black Lagoon insignia. Um, back you got a couple of angles of her figure as she is in display um, and then the other side is just the full art of her uh, based on the art I suppose that they used. Top is a window and the bottom is just all the normal manufacturing stuff in Japanese um, that helps you tell, no at least it's genuine as well. So as long as um, the benefit of doing these unboxing videos obviously is you can see, especially with the box bit, is you can see if you're getting a genuine figure uh, if you're going in person to meet someone or from photos when you're purchasing on second hand online. So um, that's one of the things that I would do if you are looking to purchase either backer or any other figure uh, on the aftermarket is um, try and get box photos and look at videos of people doing unboxings like this one um, where they do a 360 of the box so then you can compare at least the photos you receive from the seller. That's just a bit of side advice I'd recommend. I've not purchased any pre-owned figures, well I have technically, um, but that's through Bai, um, so and they're from directly from Japan so generally I've got no issues with that but if you're buying local to you in your country, Europe, America, um, don't know about other Asian uh, countries, um, then it's ideal to obviously contact the seller and just get more photos. Uh, we'll go on and unbox yeah. and uh, so we'll see what the unboxing process is like. It's probably going to be pretty traditional, probably just a standard blister. From what I saw from the photos, she does have a couple of hand options, uh, options that she, uh, you can have a different option in her hand. Um, not in the photos on the box, but at least, ooh. oh man, I damaged the box a bit. So uh, we'll just speed up this bit of me doing the unboxing for you. There's tape just topping on the left hand side. Maybe whoever boxed this from the factory didn't get around to doing tape all the way around on the blister. First time I've seen that. Uh, but she's looking good. Um, I don't see any defects in this. Uh, no scratch marks. Everything's looking great. Uh, looks perfectly fine. Um, yeah, she looks perfectly good. So that's good. So at least her figure herself is fine. Uh, then there's the chair. Chair looking good as well. Um, very nicely detailed, nicely shaded as well. 
loving the uh, design of the chair overall, the lion paws as well, just to show her dominance um, and prowess that she has, and the styling on the back of the rest as well, uh, obviously with her being from um, the USSR uh, in the anime. Uh, the uh, cigar she has is in the top of the back blister, uh, you'll have to use a knife because it's covered by a bit of uh, stuck down plastic. Should I say not bit stuck on plastic? So it's just her cigar. Very tiny little thing. Be careful we don't lose that obviously. Put that out of the way. So, she obviously has a, a definition, there's a obviously a bump in the seat where she uh, seats herself. So you don't have to worry about that going anywhere. And you just um, place the cigar between her index and four, uh, two fingers um, and you just brace them up out apart and then the cigar goes in there um, and it's just held in that way. Um, so she's looking really good, really glad I bought her. Um, I haven't watched Black Lagoon yet so I do need to uh, get around to watching that, at least the first few episodes to be honest, um, especially before uh, the other Revy, before the re-release of Revy comes in. Um, but yeah, she's looking great. Looks like the seat actually holds her just off the floor a little bit. So her front foot is just up um, above. So once you've got her properly seated on the seat like this, she's not going anywhere, basically. I, it's not magnets or anything. It's just the positioning, the mold of the seat um, between the two figures. Sorry about that. Uh, my sister decided to <laughs> come into my room to grab something. Uh, so yeah. Um, we'll get on to uh, the actual 360 review uh, of the figure uh, shots and then um, I'll sure try and do a voiceover of that. But she's looking uh, really good. I love the pose that she's got going on as well. Um, the face looks perfect. All the scars that she has is uh, immaculately done. The leg t tone detailing, uh, like the shading is perfect. I think there's nothing wrong with this figure. Um, it is based everything down to the T with this figure design overall um, and I just yeah um, I think if you are a Black Lagoon fan um, no wonder she sold out really quickly um, and a lot, a lot of people are definitely uh, looking forward to this. Um, I'll have a quick look to see what my figure have said as well in terms of the comments about her. I think if people are still looking, yep yeah, there's still people looking to buy. Oh so there was a bonus faceplate version looks like. Because um, I do remember seeing a version of her with um, uh, a pistol that you could have in her hand. So that, though, there must have been a different option, I guess, directly from Medical Zone store um, that you wouldn't from their own online shop to get the bonus uh, uh, bonus items. Uh, I just got it directly from Ami Ami, so I'm, I'm happy with this anyways because you always see her with a cigar anyways in the um, anime, so uh, that's perfectly fine. Um, and yep, yeah, we'll get on to the end. Of the uh, just of the uh, different shots basically of her um, at the end of this uh, section, and um, if you can comment, like, and subscribe, um, uh, and look forward to some other uh, unboxing videos uh, I've got planned as I've got quite a few figures to actually get to doing unboxing videos on. Uh, so I've got a bit of a backlog, uh, which is good. I like to have a backlog. Um, it means I've got content pump out at least every week along with the normal regular uh, weekly series I do every Saturday night, Saturday evening, um, at least here in the UK it's Saturday evening. Um, but yeah she's really good, I'm really glad to have her in my collection and I can't wait for the Revy release for Medicus as well to come out. Uh, so yeah, um, just enjoy the di different shots that I've uh, got going on after this section and I shall see you in another video. Thanks, bye.